Yeah, this is what a lot of people do, right? Right? Like they do that. I've seen it before. But if you do that, same big circle, do a big circle. There's a huge gap between the punches, right? And so what we want the person to feel like in their face is that they're getting hit by the same punch over and over again. Like they don't even want to, I don't even want them to feel like there is more than one punch. It's just the same punch reverberating through your skull like a machine gun. You don't count every bullet with a machine gun fires, do you? It's all about the don't overall stop impact. Yeah. It's all about the overall impact. So, less gap. And a way you can practice this, we'll do that later, but we don't have it this time, is I can just give a little push back. I don't have to fight you, but I give you a little push, and when you see my hand move like six inches, you know there's that much gap between your punch. So here's some ways to clean it up. If you do the chin punches in the air, you'll notice, go ahead, you'll notice that your bottom arm drops, and right now you're not doing it as much, but when you're punching me, you'll notice that you're kind of going way down here when you're reloading, yeah. right? You want to reload as tight as possible, right? And then you also want to wait longer. This one fires before this one moves. Okay. It's about here that it starts to go away, right? right? There's a delay. It's not, this one goes forward, this one comes back. It's this one goes forward, then this one follows, then it comes back, and so it's really fast, uh, but flowy. Even though, there's a linger after the first one, goes, oh, before my second one gets there. All right, it's still there, still there, still there, now it's not. Still there, still there, still there, now it's not, instead of, place to try to get to. Of course this is fine, right? Of course this is fine, but this is the best. <laughs>